Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Magania. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician at UC Davis, and I'm a part of PACES. We have created these PACES just-in-time videos so that you have access to the same tips, tricks, resources, and information that we do at UC Davis. We want you to be able to take care of children well wherever you are. All right, today we're going to talk about intranasal medications. Now, intranasal medications can be used for a lot of different purposes. Pain control, anxiolysis, sedation, seizure control, and opiate overdose, just to name a few. Personally, I use it most frequently for pain control and anxiolysis, and occasionally for seizure control as well. Now, intranasal medications have many advantages. Just to name a few, the first are it is easier for you, the person giving the medication. There's no needles, and it's a big old target that you're aiming for. It's also easier for the patient. There's no needles, and there's a big old target that you're aiming for. That's easier for you and for the patient. It's also faster onset and more reliable. We use the nose-brain pathway to avoid that liver and make that onset just a little bit faster than oral medications. Not quite as fast as IV, though. We use what's called a mucosal atomizer device, or MAD, which atomizes that medication. Really, it just makes it into teeny tiny little droplets that hit the mucosa. That mucosa is really innervated and very vascular, so the medicine can absorb faster and be ready to work faster as well. There's also not as many side effects as both oral or IV medications. And that means that you can discharge your child that you're using just a little bit of intranasal Versed on or midazolam on instead of a full sedation. That works for me. All right, let's run through a case. Let's say that we have a six-year-old that comes in with a forehead laceration. You need to just take the edge off, so you decide that you're going to use intranasal midazolam. Now, refer to your local protocol for dosing, but let's say that we're using 0.3 mg per kg, and his weight is 25 kilograms. So we're going to use 0.3 mg per kg with a max of 10 milligrams. Now, that may sound like a lot, but the intranasal route for midazolam requires four to five times the dose in the IV route. So this is good. Now, we want to use the most concentrated midazolam that we can, and that's the 5 milligram per ml concentration. So let's calculate this out. We've got 25 kilograms times 0.3 mg per kg. That gives us 7.5 milligrams. That's what we want to give. Now, our concentration is 5 milligrams per ml, so we're going to divide 7.5 by 5. That gives us 1.5 mls. Now, our mucosal atomizer device has about 0.1 ml of dead space, so you want to draw up 1.6 mls. Okay, that's the hardest part. Hard part's over with. Now is the easy part. We're going to give the medication. First, you want to partner with that child. Now here, you can see Tracy is letting Jordan touch and feel the mucosal atomizer device. She's letting him know that this is going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. She describes it as the sensation you have when you jump into a pool and you get water up inside of your nose. Uncomfortable, but doable. Let the child ask questions and let them anticipate what's going to happen. Now, the next step is you want to make sure that that child's head is stabilized. You can use a parent or another provider, but you don't want that head moving around when the medication is administered. We only want the medicine on the mucosa, not in the room. And for that reason, I also recommend that you use PPE. You want to use goggles or a face shield, definitely gloves for sure. Okay. Now that we're all dressed up and we've got the child stabilized, you want to make sure that you that mucosa is available. So suction out any snot or blood, anything that's going to keep that medicine from getting to the mucosa. And you sit the head of the bed back to about 45 degrees so the medicine doesn't just drip down the back of the throat. Now, get a good seal, put that mucosal atomizer device all the way up in the nair, and point it out to the right or to the left so it's pointing towards the tip of the ear just a little bit and push fast on that plunger. We want to get about half in each nostril to optimize our absorption. And that's it. Intranasal medications are fast, they're safe, 
and they're reliable. I hope you enjoy using them as well. And thanks for watching.